Welcome back. I had a question about the indexing on the lathe and what it's used for, so let me go ahead and show you that. The Wood Shop is sponsored by Robust Lathes, Easy Wood Tools, and Chefware Kits. Each lathe is going to have its own design, but if your lathe has an indexer, they all do the same thing. This one has a 48 position indexer, has a knob here, crank that in to one of the holes back there, and it locks the spindle. So let me go ahead and take you over to the other side and show you what you can do with it. I have a small bowl here. If I want to put some decoration around it, come in here, draw a line on it, maybe come up here and do another line. That one's a little bit close to the rim, but it, you can do some stuff in, in the middle too. So the, the, use the indexer. I'm just going to screw it into one of the holes over here, lock the spindle down, come in here with my pencil, and mark a line. I'm going to go ahead and move it just one hole over, and draw a line down on this one. Then go another hole, and draw a line back on this one. Now you can do this to any sort of pattern you want. You could do three up here, one down here, three up here, go back and forth like that. You can, if you want to do, put a, another line down here, you could, where am I at? You could come back down onto that one. I think that's right there. I have to check real quick, hang on. Yeah, that's that line. Come down here, put a line. And you could even do like a little stair step up. Now you can use use a drill. You could come in here. Now that you have these points here, I would use a, a small pattern or something and draw. Wow, that's horrible. You could draw a little arc there, something like that, and use a Dremel tool and cut that slice out and just keep going, stair stepping like that. Or you could stair step up this way and then come over here and stair step back down this way if you want. You could do a little triangle there. So it's a nice way to evenly space everything apart and do some do some neat designs. You could do that like that. Um, and like I said, you could you could just do three up on top and then come come down maybe one in the middle and two over here. Any sort of pattern you want, but that's what it's for is to evenly space holes. And you can do it on the inside too if you wanted to do some decoration on the on the bottom of it or something like that. So that's basically it. It evens everything out and we'll give you a little bit of creativity for doing uh, some different designs and. You can even, uh, if you were doing some carving and stuff and you just wanted to carve, make two points and carve in this spot and leave this natural and then carve in the next spot. You can space it out that way too. There we go. That's about it. It's just a nice way to evenly space some detail work. And they sell jigs that go into your banjo right where the tool post goes that you can mount a drill in. So you mount it in there, set it up on center, and you can use that and it'll... That way you can get the angle right every time instead of hand holding it. And I know uh, Brendan Baking Soda, he did a video, I think it was maybe maybe a year ago, so he got one of them. So it's a slick little slick little setup too for to keep the angle right. It's kind of hard to hand, hand hold that. But if you want to use Dremel tool to do cut out some slices in it and stuff like that. I'm, I haven't seen any jigs that will hold a, a cutting tool like that, but I'm, there's probably something out there or you can make one. All right, hope that helped. Take care.